Hey guys, I do not pretend to have all the answers. I am not inventing something uh, you know, crazily new. What I am is the adventurer, right? I am going through the process. I've went through the process myself in my own dog training business. And now I'm going through the process of finding more valuable resources that I can test out and prove work and then bring to you guys. What that's called is an attractive character. And I'm, I'm kind of pulling back the curtain here and showing you uh, what I'm specifically doing in my business and where I get my information from so that you can start to learn these concepts as well. Now, if you want these concepts broken down in a digestible format for dog trainers, which is what I'm trying to make this channel be, then to make sure you subscribe to the channel. But what we're going to talk about today and answer the question of is whenever you look at a movie or a business, right? They have somebody who stands out. They're the face of the business, right? Let's say in a, in a movie, you have the face of the movie. Johnny Depp in this new movie. Robert Downey Jr. in this new movie. right? Anne Hathaway in this new movie. These people are who we relate to. We might not relate to the story of the movie yet. right? Star, uh, Star Wars wasn't big until the second, because now we had faces that we remembered, and we could see them, and we start to build association with. But the first Star Wars movie, although it was good... It didn't become a, a classic until the second, third movie came out. And then years later, the prequels came out, right? So what we need to do in your business without intentionally trying to brand yourself, that comes with time. You're not trying to build a brand image here. We're trying to build somebody that can be relatable to your potential clients, right? So there's different types of attractive characters, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, as I said, I do not come up with everything. Okay, I am the, the researcher, the adventurer, and we're actually going to go over that in a second. I'm finding the answers for you as best as I can. So if you want to learn more about the attractive character, I highly recommend reading Russell Brunson's books, either dot-com secrets, traffic secrets, or expert secrets, okay? Or you can go to clickfunnels.com forward slash blog. I'll put the link uh, down below so you can check out the article for yourself. It's, it's quite a long one. But here it goes. So what is an attractive character? All right. They build a following, and they're highly relatable. That's, that's really the goal of the attractive character, okay? You want to become somebody that on social media or uh, in your email newsletter or if you meet some people, they immediately feel a connection with you. And it doesn't have to be fake. You don't have to fabricate somebody. It can genuinely be you. But there are some things that will help you align uh, and make it easier for your marketing message, okay? And we're going to talk about that. So why an AC? Well, there's three pieces to it. Number one, stories. Number two, values. And number three, it drives people, right? As I've said, they build relationships. People build relationships with people, not images, not businesses. They're not building a relationship with your logo. They're not building a relationship with your colors, with your branding, with your, you know, uh, they, might even, they might not even build a relationship with your dog. They might build more of a relationship with you. Interesting thought, right? Values. When someone sees an attractive character who's consistent, then they can go, oh man, well, I relate with that person and what they think. That's why force-free trainers and compulsion trainers are on two different sides of the aisles because the values that they hold relate differently to different markets, different target audiences. You might have somebody who has a puppy and they don't know what they're doing, but their heart's in the right place and they want to make sure that training's done in an appropriate way that's fair to the dogs. So they're going to go for the force-free trainers. And you might have somebody who has a cane corso and they're like, I cannot have this dog acting up. I will do anything in my power to have control over this dog. And they're going to go towards balanced or compulsion trainers. That's just the, the nature of the business, right? And it also helps drive people to take actions because they become friendly and relatable with you. They trust you and then they take actions during the sale. Now, there's four elements to your attractive character that you have to build out. Backstory, parables, share flaws, and power of polarity, right? So your backstory, where did they come from? If you watched yesterday's video, which you haven't, you should go watch it. If you watched yesterday's video, we talked about stories, and storytelling, and selling. The backstory is the epiphany story. How did you get to where you get to? Parables. People remember stories more than they remember facts. I think it's about 60 or 70% more uh, digestible material is understood through stories than facts. So if you can speak in parables, just like the Bible writes, or you know your favorite influencers, they're always telling a story. That's how we remember things. Share flaws. They want to know that you're a real human being and that you have mistakes and that you sometimes don't know what you're doing and that you learn from those things. That's huge. 
and the power of polarity. Like I said, force-free trainers versus compulsion or balanced trainers. Some people might be mad that I said compulsion instead of balanced. There's a polarity there. You're on one side of the fence or the other. As an attractive character, if you can create the polarity, you could say, hey, I'm on this side and everybody over there is a problem, then everyone who's on this side of the fence will join you. And the people on the other side of the fence are going to fight you on it. And that creates some uh, level of publicity in certain areas. Okay. Now, you need to uh, choose your identity type. Now, there's four identity types. So the, the four pieces of the attractive character needs to be understood. But more importantly is the identity type. Even if you don't have those four pieces, if you have the identity type clear, you can then start to build on the four pieces. So, as I mentioned, I was the adventurer. I was the person who's going out and trying to find the answers and bring them to you in the dog training space because I think the dog training space in terms of marketing and business and understanding is underserved. That's my goal. So I'm going to go out and find all these new things and I'm going to bring them to you. That's what this channel is all about. You also have the leader. This is somebody who's gone above and beyond, right? Like, um, let's say a dog trainer who's trained thousands and thousands of dogs. They're going to say, hey, I've done all of this work. This is what you need to do, period. End of story. Do it. And they're going to be disciplined. They're going to be hard. They're going to be motivating. They're going to say, this is the only way. This is the way that I know works. Do it this way. And they're going to try to lead people through the process. The adventurer goes out and finds the answer. The reporter is the person who just learns from other people and then shares it. Right? So the adventurer and the reporter are a little similar. Right? They're, they're pretty close. The difference is the adventurer is going out, finding the answers, and then implementing it and doing it themselves and then showing it to you. The reporter, on the other hand, is just going out, getting the information, and relaying it back to you. That's the difference. And then you have the reluctant hero. The reluctant hero is the person who had trouble with their own personal dog, and they were struggling with them. There's a, a, I think it's called the Toby Project. I'll put the link down below when I find it on TikTok. They're a perfect example. So they were just going through the process of solving their own dog's reactivity, and people started asking questions. And so reluctantly, the creator was like, well, I have to give some type of feedback. I'm not a trainer, but I'll just share what I've learned. And other trainers started to notice that she was gaining a lot of popularity. So they wanted to talk to her. And I believe she's been interviewed once or two, uh, a few times, maybe. And essentially, she just became the reluctant hero. She had figured out what to do with her dog, and people kept hounding her for the answers. She said, fine, I'll share a little bit of what I do, but I'm not a trainer. And a lot of trainers think she is a trainer. If you're in that situation where you're helping other people with a problem you had, you're a reluctant hero, right? And, and most reluctant heroes get called to do the thing. They don't necessarily want to. There might be a shy person. They're like, I was just trying to solve my own problems. I got other jobs to do. <laughs> There's another creator who I believe works at Google, and she's not a full-time trainer, but people ask her questions as well. Social media is huge on that. When you start posting about your dog, people are like, oh, my God, your dog's so well-behaved. That's a reluctant hero. Uh, you don't want to be involved, but you have to be because people keep hounding you for the answer. So you just create better and better resources to help people with the problems that you had. So find out what your identity type is and then find out the other four elements of your attractive character. That's going to help with your marketing. That's going to help with your sales videos. That's going to help with your market to message, uh, your message to market match and make your funnel that much easier to operate, right? The landing page, the application page here, it's all going to be in the same avenue and your uh, eventual sales presentation is going to show that as well. It all ties together, but your marketing is huge. If you don't have an attractive character, if you just are going out posting random videos, I highly encourage you to take the time and figure out in your niche with your target audience, what would be the attractive character that you'd be drawn to, right? Look, Start looking at the other businesses. Now that we've talked about it, you're gonna notice it everywhere. Start looking at other businesses and seeing what type of attractive character is there and which do you resonate with a lot. I personally resonate a lot with the leader and the adventurer. I love watching YouTube videos like that. You might be uh, more inclined to the reporter. Maybe you watch the news more or the reluctant hero. 
find out what you like, you're going to understand it the best, and then see if that resonates with you in implementing in your marketing. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you've missed any of the other videos, go check out the playlist, subscribe to the channel so I can bring all of these marketing information and digestible materials to you as a professional dog trainer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.